What's up YouTube, it's Michael Lee and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today we're installing this wig, okay? I tried like a couple like new things today, so yeah, just keep watching and you'll see. But before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Yeah. This hair is by Beauty Forever. The box is right here. I already opened everything, obviously. But it comes in this box. Beauty Forever, and it comes with a wig cap. I already had a wig cap, so I used a different wig cap, but it comes with a wig cap, and it comes with these elastic bands. It's not like one big one, it's like little ones that you put from here to here, you know? Yeah, I didn't need it because I have a big head and the wig wasn't too big for me. It was actually a little bit too small. Everything for this wig will actually be in the description box. So if you like this wig and you want to check it out, make sure you click the description box and the link. Everything, like literally everything. All the details and for this exact same wig will be in the description box. So yeah. But overall, I definitely do love this hair. Like it's really silky. And this is 613 hair. It's not a lot of shedding. I can say that. It's not a lot of shedding. The lace blended so good. Like so good. And yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, so I already have my wig cap on. I'm just gonna pull this down. Why are they doing construction right now? It's every video, yo. But yeah, I'm gonna put some got to be free spray on. This is a tip for anyone who's ever like doing a wig or whatever. Before you like um spray your wig cap down, make sure you cut the holes in your ears first so this part could be flat so you don't struggle with this part because I used to be struggling until I learned that. See, that's way better. Now just spray it with the free spray. I normally would spray it a little bit like more down, but this wig is actually a little bit too small for my head. So I'm not gonna have enough room to actually pull it down the way I want it. Yeah, this wig is a little bit too small. I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm just gonna see how it looks. Obviously, this is not what I'm about to do. Obviously, it could go past that, but I'm saying like like just to even put it on, it's a struggle. I'm not even gonna do that right now. We won't I'm not trying to struggle more than once. Yeah, so just let that dry. If you want it to dry faster, then just use a blow dryer. I always do two layers because one layer is never enough. You cut it and it will start like lifting, so. All right, now I'm just gonna put makeup around the wig cap so it could blend in with your, well, blend in with my skin. If you're doing it, blend it with your skin. <laughs> Another thing about this wig, it's actually not big enough to like go all the way on both sides of my ear. So I don't know how this is about to work. Every video I do, I be struggling, but I, I make it work. Now that the makeup is evenly spread throughout the cap, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I don't even like the way I just cut that. It's not flat flat, like how I normally do it. Whatever. So you should look bald, as I always say. Okay, so before y'all come for me, this hair came 613, is brown roots, and I tried to tone it with purple shampoo, and it literally came out like different colors. So it's like some blonde, some toned. I really hope... Do y'all see that? I just ripped the... I know y'all just saw that. Yo, I really got that on camera though. Like, that's OD. I'm scared to even like, I don't even know. Nah, this lace is mad sensitive. I, I'm pulling it and it's ripping. Like, I mean, maybe it's because I have a big head. I mean, that actually kind of made it work because before this part was behind my hairline, but now I can like pull it to where I want it to be now that it's ripped. I'm gonna wear this as a side part. So this is gonna come down like that. Let me brush this. Yo, this wig is really mad different colors. Like, do y'all see how many colors this is? 
Whatever. That's mad funny though. Like I really just ripped the lace on camera. I'ma do this glueless because it's too small to do it with like ghost bond. Like it's gonna get it's, it's gonna get messy and I'm gonna have to keep like fixing it. So I'ma just do it glueless. When I say glueless, I mean with free spray, like not like any harsh lace glue, like ghost bond, bold hold, not that. When I say glueless, I mean got to be free spray. It's literally just hairspray, but it's like an extra hold. Like it's not glue. You know what I mean? Like it's not lace glue. So that's what I mean when I say glueless. Alright, let's spray it. <laughs> I'm gonna do this in sections. Like I'm gonna like spray it, blow dry it, spray it, blow dry it, spray it, blow dry it. Cause if I just spray the whole thing, like it's not gonna be dry, so it can still move, you know. Alright, I'm obviously gonna have to like just pull my hair down and fix that little corner. You see, like right here, it's not the laces. I mean, the hairline isn't long enough to come down to my sideburns, so I'm gonna have to cover that with like you know hair like that. Y'all see what I mean when I say the hair doesn't come down to my sideburn? Like literally, my hair comes down to here. The hair stops right here. Alright, actually, I'm just gonna just spray the rest of this, like on. Honestly, at this point, I'm just spraying it. All right, everything looks kind of good so far. I'm gonna try to pluck the hair a little bit. I already plucked it, but I'm just, I wanna pluck it more. I don't really care about this side because I'm doing a side part, so that's gonna be covered. This hair looks silver, like I already did that color. I'm tight. I'm, yeah, this needs to be flattened out. All right, that looks fine. Before I cut the lace, I'm gonna do another layer of got to be spray because I don't want it to lift. Like, I need it to be. Alright, so everything is done now. I don't know if I should start cutting the lace now and then wrap it to lay it down or if I should put an elastic band now, style the hair, and then cut it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna actually wrap it with the elastic band that it came with and then like style it and then cut it. It's my first time actually doing this way, so I like it, but I might just cons Why am I thinking that this comes with an elastic band? Yeah, so I guess I can't even do that way. I'm not even gonna do that anymore. I'm just gonna start to cut and then style. I'm gonna use like an eyebrow razor thing and I'm gonna use hair, so I'm using both. Oh, I have a crinkle in my lace. We love that. I'm leaving this extra lace hair just because, as I said before, the hairline doesn't come all the way down. So I'm just gonna leave that there. This lace blends really well. I like this lace. Now I'm just going in and cleaning up like any like little pieces I left. Cause I don't like when it's like a straight line. Y'all already know, like it needs to be like crooked. Okay, so now what I'm about to do is just take some alcohol on like a little napkin and just wipe around my hairline so there's no like excess glue. I'm gonna go with my Shea's Bomb hair wax stick so I can like flatten this wig out. What am I doing? Let me part my hair first. I'm gonna put concealer right there. Blonde and gray mixed together makes my hair look like it's green. I didn't even straighten this hair or anything yet. I just blow dried it after I washed it. I don't even think I need baby hairs. Like, it's giving very much, well, just right here. All right, I might just straighten it and then put like a little like sideburn or something. I don't, I really don't want to put too much baby hair because it looks good now the way it is. I'm not even gonna sit here and like pass through every single strand. I'm actually in a rush. I have somewhere to be right now. All 
I actually forgot I brought this bio silk. I've been seeing everybody use this in their videos and it like everybody says it makes a huge difference and when you're trying to straighten your hair. So I'm gonna use this and see if it like makes a difference. It's a silk therapy. There we go. Silk therapy. It says bio silk. It's to basically make your hair silky, you know, really silky. It smells good. I don't even know like how much you're supposed to use. I don't know. It's my first time using it. I just rub like an even amount on both of my hands. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go like this. You know, like, like. Oh my gosh, I already feel it working. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. I feel like my hair just got like 10 times softer. Okay, should have been invested into some of this. That just made my hair like 10 times better. I'm not doing any baby hairs. So I'm just gonna do a quick little sideburn and put some concealer right here and then we're done. I'm like beauty forever. I like this. Oh, I'm using some of this Eco. This is like the olive oil Eco. Yeah, olive oil Eco. Just gonna spray this so it can stay. And now I'm done. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. I installed this whole wig glueless using my Got To Be Free spray and it actually didn't come out that bad. It came out really good even though y'all saw me rip the lace. Like after all the complication, this not being my size, with me ripping the lace, like I feel like I did really good to the point where I didn't even need baby hairs. Yeah, just right here obviously to cover the fact that it's not my size, but overall this doesn't look bad like the lace blended in so good i actually like the way this came out the bio silk really helped the hair become really straight so i really like this hair thank you beauty forever for sending me this hair so yeah if you like this wig too everything for this wig will be in the description box just make sure you click the link and it will take you right there like i said i kind of like tinted not tinted but like toned the hair so it comes like way more blonder than this hope you guys liked it give this video a thumbs up make sure you comment down um Comment anything, I don't really care. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.